that over 43 class. This is a homework example from your four, section 4B homework. This is problem number 5. So it tells us to uh, use the appropriate compound interest formula and compute the balance in the account after this mere, uh, period of time. Alright, so there's the compound interest formula. The amount we're looking for is equal to the principal times 1 plus the rate divided by the number of times interest is compounded per year raised to the power of n times t. So you got to be careful about this because the formula doesn't have a parentheses up here. But I have a feeling if you're computing this wrong, you're not putting that parentheses right there or you're not doing the multiplication ahead of time. So if I'm um, plugging this in, P is the 17,000. one plus r over n is one plus this rate as a decimal right, n is the number of compound periods per year it's compounded daily that's 365 days in a year so 365 compound periods per year and then that's raised to the power of n times t again n is 365 and then t is the number of years here so times five Now, I'm going to show you what a lot of people do wrong here. So I'm going to do the 17,000 parentheses 1 plus the rate divided by 365. This is what a lot of people do wrong with calling this. They do the power of, and then because there's no parentheses uh, given to you in the formula, they do 365 times 5, and they get this number, okay, 86,000. Okay? You have to understand the order of operations. Okay? Um, exponents come first and then multiplication comes after. If you want to reverse the order of operations, if you need to multiply these first before you raise the power, you've got to have that parentheses around the power. So insert a parentheses and there's what you actually are supposed to be getting. Right, so there's the 18, 787, 85. Now let me show you also this is something that you can download in this section. This is um, the compound, compound interest calculator is what I've got it named, but it's all the different calculators you might need for chapter uh, 4. And in particular one of them is uh, 4B compound interest calculator. So this is from section 4B. Uh, so anyway, the way you use it is you identify these four values. P is the 17,000. APR, we write it as a decimal, 2% is a decimal. N is the number of compound periods per year, so 365. And then Y is the number of years, so 5. Alright, and then there's the answer that we want, run to the nearest cent. So you see here, it ends up being the same thing I got. Okay, it's just rounded in the, in the uh, formula is already built into this spreadsheet. Okay, again, I strongly encourage you guys to use this sheet, but also to click where the computation takes place, what cell it takes place, and see that formula because you are going to have to create some of these types of spreadsheets um, for your budget project. This is the Excel spreadsheets for Chapter 4 that are found on our um, Moodle page. So you click that, download it. It has these calculators. And again, there's calculators for different sections um, all the way through the end of Chapter 4, 4 for C. Uh, it goes all the way through to the end um, for E. So anyway, you're welcome to download that and use that for these problems.